Yo guys, in this video, I'll be talking about how to drag click with electrical tape, the glossy and half glossy version. I think I have kind of like half glossy, uh, like fully matte, I know that. And I found a way how to do it uh, on those tapes. So stick it till the end how with like how to do it. And uh, yeah, this is how to drag click with glossy electrical tape. So what you guys want to do is like get um, a tape and look something like this. It's a very thick tape, but mine not right now. So when I met Dimavo, um, I um, I kind I kind of got his tape, but I I can't really find it anywhere again. So that's why I'm not getting a new one as I'm already using the one that's on here. And uh, yeah, just cut like cut something off that's the same length, cut it in half, and then just plop it on here like this so it's large enough that it fits all the mouse and it gets track like this. But like. Of course, with the glossy electrical tape, um, you can also just do like this. It's it just works as well, but you need like the perfect right amount of like s sweat, I guess, soft fingerish to drag click with, and it won't always work. So. And I was like, when I had this on, I was like, I mean, it works, but it doesn't work that well. So I was like, wait, this has like a dot rebel texture-ish. So I was like, wait, if I just plop this on, wouldn't that like this stick out of the tape and just give me easier friction with like the next clip? So I tested it out and it did actually work out. I one time got 52 CPS with it. Of course, it's not the best electrical tape. So if you have a better electrical tape, you can get higher. Uh, I have like semi elect how uh, semi glass electrical tape. So that's uh, why I use this method. I'm pretty sure with this method, method it can work out with like the glossy tape and this ribbon sticking out. So and um, what you want to do then is just of course peel it off part of the electrical tape just make it as long as how you made this big tape and then just put it on like this just perfectly over so uh, just the same length or just do it like I did just put it on to it like that and just cut it off like that it doesn't have to be the exact length large it just it has to be perfect like fit and as you can hear I can already drag click with it Wait, let me get my mic a little closer. See, you can hear it. And it already works. So if you go to F5, like here, like, I mean, F1, you can get easy 40 CPS, like straight up. And as this is actually, this is what helped me with long tracking and actually helped me with learning clutching and telebridging. So, for example, if you go over here, and I've actually gone like full telly a few times, but, like telly bridge is so easy, like it's, it's so easy to long drag, drag with this method. And if this one, if the texture like runs out or something, you can also plop a new electrical tape on, and eventually if that doesn't run out, you can uh, like peel it off or something, and then it kind of like leaves the bluish thingy on here as well and you can drag click again and easy <laughs> and then you can and then you can also just continue drag clicking again and if that runs out you can just plop it on again somehow it's still gonna work again that's what i've did also and it just helps if you want you can also do it on the left mouse button uh my index finger is like kind of weird so sometimes it's like not the perfect softeners or something and then I can't long track with it but I can try to do it right now and if it works instantly right now then this tape method is actually pretty OP not gonna lie so just put it on like this boom and 
well, my finger is too dry, so it doesn't really work out. My, f my index finger is a lot of times too dry. But this actually works pretty well, not gonna lie. So yeah, just do that, and of course, this won't... Oh, uh, this uh, this won't get you, like, instantly to get Tally Bridge. You still need to practice it. But... Yeah, it's just easier because you don't have to like drag click like this. You know? That's just way too hard. And of course you can learn like the uh, garbage like this. It's just very hard to do with for me with holding my mouse. And if I do for example without my mouse moves a lot, which is annoying. So that's why I can only garbage with my model O because I don't have that for example if I go on it right now. It also moves, but that's because I removed the tapes under my mouse thingy, but otherwise it will move less. For some reason, when I do that, it uh, with like tape under the mouse feed, it doesn't work out for my bloody A70. So I, then it doesn't work, I don't know, it's 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 weird. So you can just easily, like, uh, just tell your bridging and clutching is just easier in general. Personally, I think. And of course, there are still better tapes, as I said. But... This is just an alternative and uh, can actually like drag click with it. So I would recommend it if you have another tape playing around, like the thicker one I meant. But of course, you can also do it without the another tape, but then you need like the perfect, the actual perfect soft finger tip to drag click with. Uh, yeah. yeah. Already easy for the CPS. I can lie, for a beginner's type of tape, like not the best, it's pretty pretty good. Now for for clutching, this can be really helpful as well. And yes, the freaking reducer bot is in my in the way. So this actually helped me learning to clutch as well. And uh, down stacking also works. It's just basically a really good uh, alternative for long dragging with the tape. Of and of course, uh, clutching is still very hard on this. It's just It's just, you need to like, know how to drag click, like, there are plenty of tutorials on there as well, maybe I'll make one, but I'll see. And what this like tape thing in my record is like 11 blocks, which is like, I wanna get farther, but I just don't know like how, and my line truck is pretty long, but like after it started like that, see, and now I have a ten, 9 block clutch, and I mean it's, 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 it's pretty decent for like this tape. So, and I've done it sometimes in iPixel, I've one time clutched on a random person in Bed Wars. And I just did that clutch with freaking talking without even concentrating, wow. And, oh, I didn't think I landed. And, uh, it was like three blocks long, but like, half of it was also on the bridge. So, and, that was, and it was really epic for me. And I'm really proud, but yeah, I can, I can, like, get a lot of 8 and 9 block lung clutches lengths. <laughs> and this actually helped me really out, and I'm still practicing, of course. And this is just how to kind of drag click with glossy electrical tape. This was a very odd clutch. Not the oddest one, though. The, my oddest one is uh, this one. I'll put it on the screen right now. Yeah, that was like my oddest one, uh, but this is like the best alternative, like for, the, like, uh, for like electrical tape. But if you don't have these two tapes lying around, like glass electrical tape and the thick tape, then and if you want to buy the thicker tape, then I would just recommend buying normal electrical tape because it's no use for doing that. Normal electrical tape, which is actually like on the matte side, is way better. Like. Just do that. And with this last clutch, I want to end off the video here. 
I just want to say thank you all for watching the video. And now you can learn yourself how to like long drag click what I'm doing right now. I will just say I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.